the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God, our strength and redeemer. Amen. Amen. Recently, I read, who inspires us makes us who we are. That quote came from an ad for the Cancer Treatment Centers of America. At an early age, one of my grandmothers had cancer, and as far back as the 1940s had a breast removed. It saved her life and gave her family many years as a devoted grandmother, avid churchgoer and volunteer, and a terrific Irish brown bread baker. <laughs> the ad said, who inspires us makes us who we are. Last Monday, I had the pleasure of visiting and taking the Eucharist to Mary and Earl Slinker. Now in their mid-80s, they have lots of stories. They have been married for 65 years and have many friends as well as three adult children. They have been shaped by those years and their relationship as they have also shaped the lives of their three children. This afternoon, Mother Sue and I and several of us will be heading to the Holland home on 44th to help celebrate the 100th birthday of a longtime parishioner. Lee Strodman is 100 years old and only fairly recently has become unable to be with us at St. Mark's. Over 100 years, his life has been shaped and informed by others as he has shaped and informed many lives and continues to inspire us with his devotion to God, his family, and his parish, St. Mark's. The ad said, who inspires us makes us who we are. As a priest, I have been and continue to be inspired by many individuals who give and give of themselves for God and God's people in this parish. As active and dynamic forces, whether quietly or more demonstrably, they inspire others with their selfless commitment year after year. Just look around you. There are people across this sanctuary who make St. Mark's hum by giving themselves in some 30 ministries. They inspire me with their commitment to God and to God's people. Hopefully we can all be inspired by today's gospel reading, the baptism of Jesus by John. The baptism of Jesus is considered a manifestation of God in Jesus, another epiphany. Today's gospel reveals to us Jesus' relationship to God as God's son. In the gospel, all three members of the Holy Trinity are manifested God the Father in the voice, the Holy Spirit descending, and Jesus the Son. The reading communicates important information to us about the very identity of Jesus. As cousins, John and Jesus just might have been cut from a very similar cloth, a cloth that could be said to contain the foundation of service to God and to God's people. As Christians, we are inspired by John, by Jesus, and by a host of other holy women and men in the scriptures and beyond the scriptures. Next Sunday, part of our celebration will be to remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a man of commitment to God and to social and racial justice. The list of holy men and women who have gone before us is long, and there are some sitting next to you as well. 
Through the grace of the Holy Spirit, we are inspired by them and give thanks that their lives help to make us who we are. In a recent poem and in very traditional romantic language, the author of A Life Well Lived said the following, A life well lived is a precious gift of hope and strength and grace from someone who has made our world a brighter, better place. A life well lived is a legacy of joy and pride and pleasure, a living, lasting memory our grateful hearts will treasure. Those who inspire us are a treasure, and they are people who embody trust, people who can be relied upon to be honest and straightforward, people who tell the truth and who are seen by others to be people of inspiration. And I can only hope and pray that, that my life has a, just a little bit of that, especially as I relate to the wonderful children of this church. No secret, I love children. They are precious and the most vulnerable among us. They need role models in a world where role models seem more and more difficult to find. Those who inspire us make us who we are. I think we might all agree that we are a composite of the encounters of our lives, especially those women, men, and children who are sources of life, goodness, and strength for us in our journey of life. As we go through life, we accumulate those relationships and embrace them, whether consciously or not consciously. They can inspire us to do good, to be faithful, to be people of integrity, and to be people who are committed to others in life. This is where church comes in as an important element of who we are called to be as Christians. This is where reading the scriptures and being inspired by individuals in the Bible can shape us as authentic followers of Jesus. This is where encountering four passages of scripture every Sunday, receiving the body and blood of Jesus and rubbing shoulders with other saints are important for us and our Christian journey of life. Today, in a few minutes, we will baptize yet another baby, number 15 since I have been here. We will welcome her into the Christian community through water and the Spirit. We will pour blessed water. The sacrament of initiation will take place with powerful words, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That act, along with anointing the forehead with blessed chrism, will seal Violet Elizabeth Zdarsky as Christ's own forever. Nothing can remove that seal. It is a powerful act and one which is always celebrated for us in the midst of the community. Why we welcome the newly baptized into the body of Christ. Parents and godparents will make promises on Violet's behalf to help her grow and mature in the midst of the Christian community. Words with serious connotations will be publicly spoken, publicly spoken and we too will renew our own commitment as sons and daughters of the living God in Jesus. I believe that the words in the sacrament of baptism inspire us to do all we can to be people of integrity and truth people of witness to the gospel, and people committed to the values of the Christian tradition. Those values are embedded in the scriptures, our book of common prayer, our worship, and also in each 
of us. Let us live life as John and Jesus lived it. Let us live in such a way as to inspire others so that they may know that we are Christians by our love of God, our love of church, and our love for one another. Amen.